Right now, when people talk about Tesla, the focus is mostly on its declining EV sales and Elon Musk's political ventures, which are helping him navigate the financial challenges Tesla is currently facing. To tackle this, Tesla is betting big on two major products expected to make waves in 2025. The humanoid robot, Tesla Optimus, and a low-cost car, unofficially called the Tesla Model 2, which millions still dream of owning. While Optimus is moving closer to its commercial release in 2025, with constant updates, the question remains, what's going on with the Model 2? What is Elon Musk doing with it? And how is Tesla planning to produce an electric car for just $10,699? All these questions will be answered in today's episode of Next Gen Theories. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you're always in the loop on the latest updates about the Tesla Model 2. And stay tuned, because at the end of today's episode, we'll reveal an intriguing new prototype recently spotted in Austin. What's the secret behind this new model that Tesla might be trying to keep under wraps? Since the Tesla Model 2 was first spotted and its specs leaked, one big question has loomed large. Given the current state of the US economy, how is Tesla planning to produce the Model 2 for just $10,699? Is that price realistic or just another one of Elon Musk's bold promises? When Tesla first announced that the Model 2 would cost only $10,699 to produce, many were skeptical. Could that price tag really be feasible? Or is it simply an ambitious goal? To get to the bottom of this, we need to look at the challenges involved in producing electric vehicles. As Musk himself acknowledged at the latest Tesla All Hands event, building a car is incredibly difficult. Designing the car, Managing a supply chain with thousands of suppliers, ensuring all parts arrive, and assembling everything so it works, it's all a massive undertaking. Tesla is known for premium features, long-range batteries, self-driving capabilities, and luxurious interiors. But these advanced technologies have traditionally been reserved for their higher-end models. For instance, the Tesla Model S starts at $79,990. The luxury SUV Model X begins at $84,990 and the Cybertruck is priced at $72,490. These price points make Tesla vehicles a significant investment, one that's out of reach for many Americans, especially given the average household income of around $70,000 a year. With monthly car payments possibly exceeding $1,000, owning a Tesla remains a distant dream for most people. The high costs of designing manufacturing, and managing the supply chain for electric vehicles have made Teslas unaffordable for many, despite the fact that nearly everyone would love to own one. This is where the Tesla Model 2 comes in. With a reported production cost of just $10,699, it will be far more affordable for the masses. Not only will this help Tesla increase its sales, but it also fits with Elon Musk's vision of making electric cars an accessible choice for everyone. As Musk himself has said, for most people, it's not a question of whether they want a Tesla, they do. They simply don't have enough money to afford one. So we have to make it affordable. That's essential. Despite its lower price, the Model 2 isn't just a stripped down version of Tesla's higher end models. The engineers at Tesla have made sure that the Model 2 still includes the advanced technology the brand is known for without compromising on safety, performance, or key features. To hit this price point, Musk and his team have worked to find the most optimized solution, and their efforts are starting to show. However, challenges remain. Tesla's chief financial officer, Vibhav Tanya, acknowledged during the January 2025 earnings call that there is a lot of uncertainty surrounding tariffs. Over the years, Tesla has tried to localize its supply chain in every market to mitigate such risks. But with the US automotive industry facing tariffs on both sides of its borders, things are about to get trickier. Starting in April, there will be a 25% tariff on non-US made vehicles, a law that could have a major impact on US electric vehicle manufacturers. This raises an important question. Will Tesla be immune to this new tariff? Former President Trump suggested that the new tariffs could be net neutral, 
or maybe even positive for some companies. He also pointed to Tesla's factories in Fremont, California, and Austin, Texas as potentially key factors in helping the company weather the storm. Tesla's manufacturing plants in the US have been a big advantage, especially under policies that favor domestic production. As Elon Musk pointed out in a post on X, any company with factories in the US is in a strong position. However, the tariffs introduced during the Trump administration will still affect the price of vehicle components sourced from outside the country. Musk acknowledged that despite Tesla's strong efforts to localize its supply chain, parts coming from abroad will still be impacted by these tariffs and there will inevitably be some cost increase, whether minor or major. That said, Tesla's price hike might not be as steep as that of other vehicles, particularly the Model 2, which will be produced almost entirely with domestic manufacturing. Tesla has made great strides in developing an advanced car at a much lower price than its competitors. One of their breakthroughs is new battery technology that cuts production costs by 50%, while also improving battery performance and durability compared to traditional lithium ion batteries. Another key innovation is giga casting technology, where Tesla uses massive molds to create large car parts in one piece. This significantly reduces the number of components needed and lowers labor costs. Moreover, Tesla's global network of gigafactories, with locations in Berlin and Shanghai, helps the company produce cars much faster and cheaper than traditional automakers. Thanks to all these advancements, the Model 2 could be built in under 8 hours, further driving down costs and making it available at an incredibly affordable price. These are the strategies Tesla is relying on to produce the Model 2 for just over $10,000. However, if they push cost cutting too far and compromise on key areas like functionality and safety, would you still be willing to drive one? To answer that, let's take a look at the latest update on the Model 2. The car was recently spotted undergoing tests in the US, making its first public appearances in test runs in places like California and Arizona. Between late 2024 and early 2025, Tesla engineers have been conducting extensive test drives to assess the Model 2's performance under real-world conditions. After the Model 2 was spotted and its specs were revealed, one feature that stood out was its impressive acceleration and overall performance. The rear-wheel drive motor produces between 190 and 210 horsepower, with torque ranging from 290 to 310 newton meters. This allows the Model 2 to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.3 seconds, a remarkable feat, especially when compared to rivals in the same price range like the BYD Kale or the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV, which take between 10 to 15 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour. Despite being priced lower than many of its competitors, the Model 2 can easily outperform even some expensive gas-powered cars, thanks to the instant torque delivered by its electric motor. This gives it a clear advantage over traditional internal combustion engines, allowing the Model 2 to achieve those fast speeds in just a few seconds. Another standout feature of the Model 2 is Tesla's move toward using sodium ion battery technology. Unlike traditional lithium ion batteries, sodium ion batteries cost less and use more abundant materials like sodium, iron, aluminum, and manganese. This reduces the reliance on expensive metals like lithium, cobalt, and nickel. The new battery technology also provides better performance in various conditions, while significantly lowering production costs for both the battery and the overall vehicle. Tesla's interest in sodium ion batteries dates back to 2021, and the development is gaining traction. Spencer Gore, a former battery module design engineer at Tesla and now CEO of Bedrock Materials, recently stated that sodium ion batteries could deliver a driving range of 300 miles or more depending on usage and environmental factors. This is comparable to current LFP, lithium iron phosphate batteries, but at a fraction of the cost. With a capacity of 50 to 60 kilowatt hours, the sodium ion battery in the Model 2 gives it a range of 310 miles on a single charge, enough to make the drive from Los Angeles to Las Vegas without needing a recharge. This shift to sodium ion batteries could revolutionize the world of affordable electric vehicles making them more accessible and efficient for the average consumer. While other EVs, like the BYD Seagull, can only travel between 190 to 250 miles, 
The Tesla Model 2 takes the lead, leaving competitors in the dust. The shift to sodium ion battery technology has also allowed the Model 2 to excel in charging performance. With older systems like the 4680 or LFP batteries, it would take about 20 minutes to charge to 70%. However, with the new technology, the Model 2 can now charge up to 80% in just 10 minutes. This breakthrough addresses one of the biggest concerns people have about EVs, long charging times. Another standout feature of the Model 2 is its remarkably low operating cost. At just 3 cents per mile based on current electricity rates, the Model 2 offers significant savings compared to traditional gasoline vehicles, which typically cost around 10 cents per mile to run. For example, a typical office worker who commutes 37 miles daily would spend about $111 a month on fuel if driving a gas-powered car. In contrast, switching to an electric vehicle would reduce that cost to just $77 per month, saving $34. That's enough for a nice dinner, a treat for the family, or saving up for something more important. While $34 might not seem like much, over the course of a year, or even a decade, those savings add up. And with the possibility of gas prices rising again, switching to an EV is not just a smart move, it's a practical, sustainable choice. Moreover, the Model 2 sodium ion battery has a clear advantage in cold climates. While many traditional lithium ion batteries lose about 40% of their capacity at temperatures as low as negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit, the Model 2 can retain 80% of its capacity. This is a major benefit for those living in colder areas, making the Model 2 a more reliable choice year-round. Looking ahead, Tesla is set to launch the Model 2 in the second quarter of 2025, a game-changing vehicle poised to disrupt the global automotive market. Despite some speculation that Tesla might cancel the project in favor of its robo-taxi plans, the reality is quite the opposite. Elon Musk and Tesla are fully committed to the Model 2 and are in the final stages of preparation. With their global manufacturing network and innovative technologies, Tesla is on track to make the Model 2 a reality. To meet this ambitious goal, Tesla's plan is bold and innovative. The construction of Giga Mexico, a $10 billion facility, will play a crucial role in the Model 2's production. Set to begin production in the first quarter of 2025, Giga Mexico will eventually produce up to 500,000 Model 2 units annually, with an expected ramp up to 2 million vehicles by 2028. This rapid expansion demonstrates Tesla's commitment to delivering affordable electric vehicles on a large scale. The Model 2 is not just another car, it represents Tesla's relentless pursuit of efficiency and innovation. Using cutting-edge manufacturing techniques, including next-gen gigacasting and revolutionary assembly methods, Tesla aims to dramatically reduce production costs and increase output. The company's target for 2025 is to produce 350,000 units of the Model 2 in the second quarter alone, with plans to hit 1 million units by the end of the year. These goals are ambitious, but Tesla is setting itself up to challenge the biggest names in the automotive industry. At the heart of this revolution is the Model 2's affordable price point, projected to start at just $10,699. This will make it a direct competitor to both traditional gasoline vehicles and other entry-level electric vehicles, bringing high-performance electric cars to a broader market. Tesla's aggressive global strategy is boosting the Model 2's position in the market. The company is rapidly expanding its supply chain and fine-tuning logistics to deliver the Model 2 to consumers faster than any traditional automaker could manage. With strong demand expected, especially in major markets like the US, China, and Europe, Tesla's scaling efforts are designed to keep up with the growing consumer interest. By 2028, Tesla anticipates that the Model 2 will dominate the small car segment, potentially capturing up to 50% of the market share. As for the new Tesla prototype in Austin, the company's autonomous cyber cab fleet is becoming a more frequent site at Gigafactory Texas. This signals that preparations for the highly anticipated June 2025 launch are ramping up. Tesla executives have confirmed that the vehicle remains on track for its public debut this summer. Recent drone footage has shown multiple Tesla cyber cabs being tested at the Austin plant, underlining the company's commitment to meeting its timeline. In February 2025, drone pilot Joe Tekmir 
documented what seemed to be the most extensive testing of cyber cabs to date at the Austin facility. Techmere noted at least three cyber cabs visible at the same time, estimating the total number at five or more vehicles in rotation. The footage also revealed an interesting detail. These test vehicles still had steering wheels and human operators, which contrasts with the fully autonomous design shown during the original unveiling. This could mean Tesla is collecting manual driving data before transitioning to full autonomy, or it could be considering a variant with manual controls. The cyber cabs have already demonstrated impressive performance during testing. According to reports, the vehicles successfully navigated unexpected obstacles, such as a local parade and an unmarked construction site that hadn't been updated in the navigation maps. When faced with these challenges, the autonomous system paused to assess the situation before finding alternative routes. Thanks for watching our video. If you're eager to learn more about Tesla's EVs or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to Next Gen Theories and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest updates. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.